welcome to the Stone Kingdom. My name is Colette Thomas-Smith. I am a researcher, author, historian, and genealogist, but basically I am a cold case detective in ancient Mediterranean civilizations and history. My book, Zara of the Red Thread, Builders of the Stone Kingdom, is a complicated story covering the Late Bronze Age to the Christian era. Who was Zara of the Red Thread? How did he get his name and his title? What was his role in ancient history and why didn't we ever hear of him? Why was he on royal genealogical charts in Ireland and in Britain and in Europe? These questions became the focus of 25 years of research on ancient British and Mediterranean history. Judah, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, had two twin boys. One of them almost birth first, he put his little hand outside the birth canal and they wrapped a red silk thread around it so they'd know that he was the birthright child. Miraculously, he was not born first, but his brother Pharaoh's, which gave him the title of birthright child. Sarah, for the rest of his life, would have to live somewhere else and rule somewhere else wherever his brother did not rule. As a royal prince of Judah, Zara had a right to rule somewhere, but he could only rule outside of Israel. And so Zara and all his many families left Egypt about 200 years before the time of Moses. In Egypt, Zara was only mentioned one or two times and then in a census record. And then he disappears off of every record that is kept by the Old Testament. The quest for me was, so where did he go? What did he do? Zara's family became kings in Ireland, Britain, Scotland, and Denmark. They've also populated most of what we know as Scandinavia. Spain, which was Iberia at the time. Greece, they were the kings of Troy. Athens, Tuscany, then the first kings of Rome. Austria, Lebanon, and all the islands of the Mediterranean from Crete on. The Lion of Judah and the Unicorn of Ephraim are the crest of Great Britain. Ephraim came in as Scythians. Everyone had their name changed. Everything written about Western history will have to be questioned because we were all told that Western civilization started with the classical Greeks and the Romans when in fact they were the last ones to come in and be the real founders of Western civilization. The research for this book has been the most exciting research I have ever done and I want to share it with the world. It has kept me up at night and gotten me up early in the morning because all the answers I found rewrote Western civilization history and history as I had known it. Your help in getting it published so the world can know this new history and who really did it, which was Zara of the Red Thread and all his posterity. I would love to have your help. Please join with me in getting this book published.